All right, so setting up Switchbird to work with a virtual phone system like Grasshopper is as easy as taking our Switchbird number and plugging it into Grasshopper where and when we want a call to get forwarded to Switchbird for handling via messaging, right? So we're gonna use Grasshopper uh, for the voice side of things, uh, routing voice calls to our cell phone, mm -hmm. uh, handling voicemail, etc. cetera. Um, but we can put our Switchbird number in the mix of forwarding numbers here, uh, wherever we want a call to get logged in Switchbird, and Switchbird will have our uh, behaviors for then uh, texting back callers, getting them into a messaging flow, what have you. So we're gonna have a, a simple uh, number here in our inbox on uh, Switchbird that doesn't forward uh, anywhere uh, in terms of voice calls. So voice calls will just terminate here um, from the grasshopper side that the, uh, that terminated call will just continue on to the next forwarding number. So in fact, we can have our Switchbird number first. Every call will get logged in Switchbird. Then it will go to our cell phone, desk phone, what have you. Uh, or the reverse where uh, maybe you want a call to go to your desk phone. And only if you don't um, get to it, if only if you don't answer it, uh, then uh, have Grasshopper forward that call onto Switchbird. On the Switchbird side, um, again, we're terminating the call here and we've got our automation set up, um, same as always, right? So uh, we might have uh, a text back going to uh, every uh, missed caller. Um, the only uh, not play a voice prompt and put any information that you would want in a voice prompt like, hey, did you know you can also text with us? Um, put that in your uh, voicemail, right? So the reason for that is that when you're um, forwarding a call from say Grasshopper to Switchbird, if we play that voice prompt, Grasshopper sees that as an answered call and then won't continue on to a voicemail or to your next forwarding number. So. Uh, no voice prompt on our side and we're good to go. So this uh, caller will come in if it's a new caller, uh, get a text back opting them in uh, and then go right into our lead capture funnel. Um, and we also have a reminder uh, to um, known callers to uh, that they can uh, text with us as well. So uh, someone you know calls back after a week, you know, a month, um, we just send that reminder to them that they can also text with us. Again, being kind of aggressive on the call deflection front to, to drive those conversations into messaging where they're more efficient to manage. Uh, so let's test this out. We should see that uh, with my setup, uh, we've got our public phone number that we push out to leads, prospects, and customers. When they call that number, um, we have it going, the call going to my desk phone. If I don't pick up my desk phone, uh, it should forward on to Switchbird, where they're gonna get put into that automation, get into the lead capture flow. Uh, and then the call, on the call front, uh, they'll land in my voice mail greeting, which should sound like this. Please leave a message. So we'll listen for that in a second. So let's uh, give it a try, make sure this works as expected. Um, so let's go ahead and call. Leg one is working. You can see I got a text. Hey, this is John from Switchbird. Please leave a message. And we got our voicemail. So let me hang that up and take a look at the Switchbird side. Uh, if I go into our conversations now, there we are. Uh, we've got our conversation. We see that uh, John Hall called at 312. Um, he got the opt out info and he got put right into uh, the messaging flow. So. Um, so you see that, um, let's see, do I have that right? Right now right here. Um, let's just respond to that, there we go. Okay, so there you go. Um, we're in the mix now with our uh, Grasshopper and Switchbird integration. Um, Last thing I'll just check is that uh, if we wanted every call to go to Switchbird first, um, we can just reverse uh, reverse things here, and then we'll see that even if I you know go and pick up this call, 
um, we should still get a text reminder to our uh, caller um, because we're doing this more aggressive tactic of having the switchboard number first and sending uh, every every call there, right? So let's just get that going here. So now I'm going to uh, call the same number and pick up the phone this time. So now uh, we should, if all things went correctly, uh, we should have our reminder here, and we do. So I got a reminder to my phone. Uh, thanks for calling. Just a reminder, you can text with Acme at this number. So there you go. Uh, those are the uh, basic options when it comes to setting up uh, Switchbird with Grasshopper and probably other virtual phone systems as well um, it could do the same thing. So uh, hopefully this uh, helps you get set up and using uh, really the, the uh, best tool set for voice calls and best tool set for messaging uh, combined to be a business powerhouse. All right.